Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah, bitches. Let, let me ask you this, man. F football, well, sports and music goes hand in hand. And, and what, you know, you guys, you know, listen to a lot of hip hop, man. I know a lot of you guys listen to this show, too. In fact, man, who, who you like right now? If I ask you who's the hottest MC in the game, because with MTV, we got our hottest MC in the game conversation coming. I'm, I want to get your feedback. Who you like right now? I mean, I, I like a lot of people. I mean, I'm um, I mean, I'm not just stuck on one person or one even one genre. I mean, I like, I mean, I obviously like Wayne. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like Ti. I mean, I even support, I even support the Houston rappers. You know, every every game in the uh, warm ups, mm -hmm. you know, they have the Houston music flowing. I mean, and that be the music that get us pumped the most. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I kind of like them all. I mean, yeah. I kind of listen to everything. Mm -hmm. I try to stay diverse. I like to know what's going on, so I listen to it all. You listen to it all. Now you, well, you out here is All Star Weekend. Now, obviously, that's the NBA. And we often have this um, argument, you know, DJ Wonder and myself and OQ over back in the studio, Reggie Hawkins, he's really big on this conversation. We always say what sport has the best groupies, you know, because when you watch Love and Hip Hop and I mean, well, well, Basketball Wives and they got the baseball show, they haven't done the football show. Yeah. You know, and so, uh, first of all, are you married or anything like that? Yeah. yeah okay, okay. So you really can't, you know, when, when you think back before you were married, uh, <laughs> What sport you think has the best groupies? Uh, I probably say basketball. Basketball, basketball probably got the best because I mean they're out there in basically tank tops. Yeah, you know, so yeah. The women get to see their bodies or whatever, and, and they don't have anything covering their face. Yeah, I mean we we're out there in pads and mm -hmm. covered all up, and mm -hmm. I mean everybody's so far away from us, and we have helmets on, mm -hmm. so I mean nine times out of ten people don't even know who we are. Yeah, I mean, sweet. I probably can walk. I probably could walk through the mall and not even get recognized. And not mm. even get recognized, yeah. huh? That's that's I knew who you were, man, when you walked in, man. Nobody else did, so maybe it's some truth <laughs> to that. Right. <laughs> Heather B, what you gonna say? Well, Sway, Glover mentioned that he was married, and you know, for a short time they had football wives with Deion Sanders wife and Pilar. That's how she got so popular. Um, mm -hmm. Glover, would you let your wife do a reality show based around you guys' lives? I mean, I would. I mean, if that's something that, that she wanted to do, I mean, I think it'll be a, a different uh, different angle to it as far as, like, the the real realities of a football wife. I mean, it, everybody don't live the life like uh, Pilar and all those guys, the, mm -hmm. the glamorous life. So, I mean, my, we got two kids, you know, we, we do our own thing. And so, I mean, some football wives actually are wives, and they, they do the, the home thing, and they, they raise kids and things like that. So every, every everybody's not... You know, I live in the glamorous, what what you see on TV. Sometimes it's, it's a little more real than that. Yeah, yeah, them wives trying to be famous. Either. They got agendas <laughs> is basically what he's saying. Right. Old digging ass bras. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, you, you ain't got to say it. I'll say it real quick, man. Don't you wish that they would play more hip-hop during the NFL broadcast? It's just really rock heavy. Right. Why, why do they do that, man? They trying to... Uh, they trying to target a certain demographic or keep out a certain demographic? What do you think it is? Jeez, man. I, I don't know, man. They, I think they're probably trying to target a certain demographic. Yeah. Um, I mean, but like I said, I feel like they, I feel like it's a it's a lot of music out right now that's that's really diverse for everybody. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like they they can find ways to have a good mixture of everything and and, and make everybody feel good. So I, I don't really know what they do, man. Mm -hmm. I just try to to listen. Go with what's going, man, and, and do my thing, bro. All right, GQ, man, from the Houston, Texas. Yep. Man, man, thank you for coming through, man. Thanks for having me, man. Hey, hey, man, y'all don't mess up next year, man. Hey, man. All right? We're trying to go all the way. All right. Tell, every year, though. Okay, tell DB I said what up. We're broadcasting live from Houston, Texas. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.